Example 5. Sketch the plane defined by pi 1, 3x plus 2y plus z minus 6 equals to 0. Well, the chapter has been on equations of planes, but we had only been sketching graphs for the planes. Some of you might be wondering, why are we doing so? Why not equations first? It's personal preference. If you feel that we should be sketching after understanding the equations, you can always come back to this later, okay? Now here is uh, another sketch of the plane. And after this, we will get into the equations of planes, okay? That is section 8.4. Now, let's go through this. 3x plus 2y plus z minus 6 equals to 0. So, how to sketch this particular plane? Here, what we will follow is to find intercepts, right? So, let's find x-intercept. So, what is the x-intercept here? x-intercept for me will be, I can put y and z equals to 0 and then find the value of x, right? So, if I put y z equals to 0, I get x equals to 6 over 3, which is 2. So, I can write this x-intercept as 2, 0, and 0, correct? Now, similarly, let's calculate y and z intercepts, right? So, let's calculate y-intercept. So, y-intercept is... So, we'll, for y-intercept, we'll put x and z 0 and calculate for y. If these two are 0, then 2y equals to 6 or y equals to 3. So, we get 3 here. Now, the z-intercept. So, for z, we'll put x and y as 0 and z equals to 6. Good job. So, we got three intercepts. So, to sketch a plane, we just need three points. And since we have three intercepts, we have three points. So let's draw these points. First is 2, 0, 0. So let's say this is 1 and so this is 2, 0, 0, correct? Y is 0, 3, 0. So we 0 and 1 and 2 and 3. So we got this 0, 3, 0. Z is 0, 0, 6. So 0, 0 and then say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Let's say this is 6, okay? So right on the top, 6. So that is what we get our three points and if we join these three points we get our plane so let's do it so we join these points one two three and that's the plane which defines pi one correct so that's our plane pi one okay so that is how we are going to sketch this plane so you find Intercepts are very, very important to sketch a plane like this. So here in this equation, we have all the coefficients as non-zero and even the constant is non-zero, correct? So in that case, we get our x, y, and z intercepts and these points define the, the plane, okay? Now, here are three questions related with this example. Question 13. Determine intercepts of plane with coordinate axes. The coordinate axes are x, y, and z, right? So let me just push it more, okay? Explain if the three intercepts can define this plane. And that's a question for you, a communication question. Can three intercepts define this plane? Describe and sketch a plane, pi 2, x minus y plus 2z equals to 10. And that's a question for you. For your practice okay if you have any difficulties write down your comments and we will shortly answer them thank you